living in a modern day society, like finding good health is just, it constantly seems to be a trend, but what it really boils down to is just about making great choices. And, you know, I'm guilty. Like I've followed the trends before, you know, like I realize, but what I realize is that if I try to do every single trend, I place an immense amount of pressure on myself to be perfect. And I'm, I'm like simply not perfect. You know, none of us are. I'm just a human being. I'm having a human experience, right? I hurt the way you hurt. I eat bad food sometimes, you know, and I, <laughs> and it's like, oh, I really shouldn't have had that, especially, you know, 30 plus. Um, and for me, you know, as I've gotten older, I really reflected that like having good health is just about making those great choices that are the most impactful to your life. So we make about like 35,000 choices a day, subconsciously and consciously. And what I mean by that is like the moment you wake up, should I brush my teeth? Should I not brush my teeth? Put on pants, but not put on pants. Should I call my mom? Not call my mom, right? Um, What did I say no to? You know, say no to set boundaries. What did I say yes to? Having opportunities, right? All these choices either pour or drain away from who you are. So to me, having good health is about making those great choices that are constantly going to pour into you and less of what's taking away from you. Oh, I love that. Yeah. More that's going to nourish you versus draining your energy. So given everything that you must know from studying Chinese medicine, what are like the major things that Western culture is missing in terms of taking care of our health? Oh, the main... I guess, the, yeah, some... the big things that pop in your mind, because there's a lot of Chinese things like don't have ice, don't expose your, your oh, that's don't wear crop favorite tops. One. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Or why don't you talk about it? Like, how true is that? Should we really be listening to this? Well, you know, the person who invented rice, you know, rest, ice, compress, elevate, that okay. protocol. Uh huh. He actually retracted what he said, oh. I think, about, <gasps> about three or five years ago. He said, actually. Oh, really? He's like, never mind. Like, Wait, that's like that's like common sense for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, he was like the founder. Like everyone's like, oh, rice. As soon as you sprain your ankle, rice, rice, this, rice, that. So right, Chinese medicine, we hate cold. Like that is like an absolute no no, right? My mom used to be like, are you sad? Drink hot water. Oh, you're in pain. Drink hot water, right? And I'm like, what what doesn't hot water solve, right? <laughs> the the funny thing is that now, as I've gotten older with every patient, I'm like, I always pour them room temp or hot water. And they're like, what are you giving me? And I go, I want you a, I want you to, to when you're here, this is like a Chinese household. You're going to have hot water. When you leave, I don't care what you have, but I want you to start thinking about how water is like, you know, we're 70% water. And in order to have, again, going back to good blood health, Drinking hot water means that your body doesn't have to work as hard to warm it up because your body's already at like 98 degrees, right? So when you're drinking cold water, you're constantly damaging your gut, your digestive to work harder to warm things up and to help your body find a level of homeostasis. So Chinese people do not like cold, but I will say, I will say I have ice cream, right? Like that's like, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just as guilty, right? But There's ways to help manage, you know, a modern day lifestyle, you know, like when I, when I eat something a little more greasy or whatever, like I go to pochai pills. Have you heard of pochai pills? Mm -hmm. They're like these little digestive support, you know, also great for hangovers, but I don't drink. So, (laughs) um, you know, I'll take a vial of that and I'll be like, oh, I feel so much better. You know, I don't have any digestive issues. Um, I go, I go to the bathroom easier. Those are all really important things that I I've used Chinese medicine, you know, like I told you, like making the, making the best choices for myself because, you know, like we don't live in ancient day China, you know, um, where everything was probably more whole foods and less processed, right? We live in a, what I call more processed, more influenced kind of society. So just finding ways to, you know, still enjoy the little things in life and then finding the balance, the things to counteract it so it doesn't do so much damage to your body. Yeah. Yeah. Can you give more examples of how you balance, like things that are accessible to people who don't know about pochai pills? Like, you know, for example, like, is it true, like, you know, how Japanese people drink green tea with their meals, like things like that? 
Yeah. I mean, like the number one thing is like, if I could go back to the hot water, hot mm. water is like the thing. It's the vibe. Okay. So if it, you have ice cream, drink hot water afterwards. <laughs> you know? Okay. For ice cream, perfect example. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, you Sometimes it's adding a little, having something a little spicy. Every time you have something cold, you want to think of something warming, having a little bit of ginger. Have you noticed that when you go to Japanese restaurants, they give you raw sushi because well, sushi is raw most of the time. And you're eating raw fish, but there's always ginger on the side. It's not just to cleanse your palate, but ginger also counteracts the coldness of fish oh, as well because it's such a that. warming yeah, yeah, yeah. Very because cool. it's so warming. Um, in my house, I constantly have onions and garlic on stock in my fridge mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. So, like, um, when I can, I'll just like I'll just eat onions. I'll just like saute some <laughs> onions. Onions are proven to help with our lung function. You know, also has a lot of like antimicrobial uh, properties, just like garlic. So, you know, thinking of ways to find balance in my meals, the one I cook. You know, sometimes I'm a little lazy. I don't want to cook, right? Um, but when I have, you know, um, let's say when I when I get something from a restaurant, right? But if I can make a quick like little vegetable dish to go with something from I get from a restaurant to make it more balanced, I'll do that. You know, I'll cook a whole onion. I'll drink hot I water. See. Okay, that I I love that though. It's like you can still have you know the the food that you want to have, but balance it out with, with veggies or onions or some, something else there. Cause we live in a modern day society, you know, like, um, I, I look at myself as someone who's very practical. Like if I tell somebody, you know, like, oh, you can't have ice cream forever, but behind their back, I'm you know, having ice cream. I'm just a hypocrite. You know what I mean? I just have, you know, being a Chinese medicine doctor, I just have the tools. You know, I, I know a little more to know like, oh, like if I have ice cream, you know, I'll try to have ginger tea later that night. That's another good way to counteract because it's warming. So it won't hurt my digestive as much. <laughs> 